Would you please welcome Jet, Hunter, Panther, Ace, and of course, John Anderson. This is a beyond exciting for me. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I didn't get to meet you a few years ago, actually, and that was very, very exciting. Yes. But it is so nice to have you here. When you did the hair flicking thing, that made my world. <laughs> that was the last one, wasn't it? Yeah, that was, that was yeah, really yes. good. So, so what was it like back then? Because, I mean, it was huge. It was huge. You had the live tours, you had all of that. 12 million viewers on a Saturday night. I mean, mm. to be part of it must have been incredible. It was incredible. I mean, I can only speak for myself, but to injuries aside, it was just a huge atmosphere. It's literally a gladiatorial arena because of our live audience. Yeah. And, of course, all those cameras filming every tiny bit where you couldn't hide in your tiny light. No, no. You had to be good. Yeah. You said injuries aside, though, but it was it was an injury that finally put pay to your time there, wasn't it? For me, it? yes, yes. And I think a lot of the guys bounced back many, many <laughs> times <laughs> yeah. and still went back into the arena. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Uh, but for me, it was end what, of what after four and a half years. I just I bruised uh, my spinal cord uh, quite badly and I just thought no that's enough for me four and a half years was a good run though but what, do you you do, what do you do now what, what? I'm a psychotherapist a little bit like Emma and do wellness in the workplace which I think is quite similar to a, like a, what a few of the guys do too yeah yeah I sit and listen to people's problems help them I don't know you'd have to ask them <laughs> <I'm sure laughs> but like, but loving work. life absolutely loving life yes uh, thanks and he Helen you were you panther obviously that's correct. Um, and and it was what was really wonderful about it was it was his first time of sort of seeing these really strong women but really feminine beautiful women but just there, sort of you know holding their own it was great to inspire so many people into the sport um, to be able to be strong and be feminine at the same time and we still get messages to this day 25 years later people People just absolutely thoroughly enjoy going to the gym but still still being feminine yeah yeah and, and what were your favorite games well I didn't like tilt that's where I got injured <laughs> um, you know what they asked me this what was the favorite part about being a gladiator and I love going to the makeup room <laughs> 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 To the sport now and you've got a gym and absolutely you i've got a gym we do prepping of athletes that travel all over the world um judging fitness girls bikini girls men's physique and bodybuilding wow yeah and uh, uh james you were the youngest weren't you still am yeah, yeah. <laughs> i started when i was 19 so My yeah God. very very young what a thing to go into at 19. Well, i was I mean... plucked up at a bodybuilding stage they were looking for tall bodybuilders and they came to a show and then i had to fight john anderson in a duel in my trial which he <laughs> constantly <laughs> reminds me about they had no one else to fight me so uh, i knew i had to kind of show some aggression which uh, I don't think he's recovered. And then, <laughs> uh, yeah, and then you clearly really let yourself go, which is a real shame. Well, I, I, I still do a lot of training and uh, yeah. work in fitness and try and educate people about sedentary living and how dangerous it is in offices and fit at 40, that kind of thing. Yeah. Look at the size of your arms. Yeah, they gave me a very tight T-shirt to fit. I think it's Panthers <laughs> T-shirt, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but you were, you were and are, but then, super competitive. Yeah, well, I, I, I was very competitive when I, when I joined Gladiators. I've got an older brother. Brother, you think I, I think that's what oh, started see, yeah. off so when I was going against all these guys you know I was being egged on to get better and better and the first year I joined I couldn't do anything mm. and I think that really kind of hit me that I couldn't get up the wall I couldn't swing on the rings and you know they're, they're all kind of saying well you've got this great body and you look great but you can't and then I kind of went off the next year and just kind of locked myself away from me for a year and that's how I became good at the events oh, right. we, we only got two days one, yeah we only got two days training on all the events people think we were Is there every right? Saturday but we mm. filmed the whole series mm. in two weeks mm. and we got two days the contenders got two days so unless you did stuff in your own time yeah you wouldn't get good at the game so uh and and yeah. we're an ace you were you were kind of the one to beat at that time you're sort of the the, the big one of all the boys yes yeah, see his face eh? he's getting a bit, <laughs> what he's a bit, oh yeah yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. I see I mean, his campaign you told our researcher so I'm going <laughs> yeah. <to> <laughs> uh, yeah yeah <laughs> I sort of told you research it out because I knew it would get his back up. You see, James likes to be oh, the ultimate gladiator, you know. But these, uh, having said that, though, Holly, back then I did worship myself. I really did. Oh. I thought I was great. I looked at myself in a mirror, always building myself up. You know, I thought I was, uh, I thought I was fantastic. Right. Okay. Uh, but these days, <laughs> but these days, I, I don't actually. But in, incidentally, there are forklift trucks you can buy to lift heavy weights. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you know, oh, I, try, I, I tried to relax a little bit now. I tried to relax a little bit, and uh, I stepped out of the uh, rat race. Into God's grace, so everything changed for me. Everything absolutely Doing what? changed. What do you do now? 
Uh, I'm sort of a I'm sort of a gladiator for the gospel, really, Philip. Are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had a real turd in a swimming pool moment. Everything, <laughs> okay. everything absolutely Nothing changed. Worse. No, no, no. Well, it's, yeah, but somebody once explained to me. They said, "Listen, you know, I used to honestly, I used to, I, I used to think I was really blessed because I was this gladiator. I had all this money. I had everything. We had mm. girls, everything, and I was too busy looking down at people to ever look, uh, to ever look up. And then someone said to me, Warren, you'll never know God. You'll never be really happy mm. unless." You recognise that actually you will sin when you go in your own way, and God can't actually uh, do anything with you while there's a turd in that pole. So it was really interesting <laughs> for me because God really, you know, will forgive the sin. Mm. He'll take the turd out of the pole, yes, and right. you're in a relationship <laughs> with Him. So it's fantastic. It's a real blessed <laughs> life that Three. I'm living now. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a point. We got it. We got yeah, it. We got it. We got it. And as for as for you, I mean, you, it was your job really. You had to pick them. You had to train them. Yes, mm. and what a job that was! Look at them. I know. <laughs> you did well, and you, you were—I mean, you were tough. You were firm, but but fair. Ooh, I would say. Me? Yes, don't <laughs> oh, <you're> still scared. <laughs> no, I know, but you were. But you had to, and they did. Everybody did listen to you. You kind of. They were very good. They were excellent. They were professional. Yeah. And they did the things very well. They were easy to work with because everybody did what they were supposed to do. They were all very professional. I was delighted to work with them. Ah, oh, good. And would you all love to do it again? Would you like if you if it was to come back round again? Would you do it again? I think we've got a bit of, bit of notice because it's a very different body, very different training, very specific events. Yeah. To be good at gladiators, you could get, we'd have runners, we'd have rugby players, but then say climb a wall, swing on rings. So uh, I think I was given a few weeks. So I might yeah. uh, give it a lot. Train. <laughs> well, we need to know about <laughs> would, you, would, you, would you like to go back? I'd love to do it, yeah. Because you did lots of training like the that. Olympics and stuff, you're training the Olympic athletics teams. And, you know, so, I mean, you've kept your hand in. Yes, well, I, I'm still coaching athletics at this, to this day. Yeah. And I've been lucky enough to, to work with athletes at the very highest level. I've yeah. done the Olympic teams, I've oh, been amazing. with them. And uh, so I've had a, a long and happy career in terms of working with young people who are doing well. And it's a joy to work with people like them who want to be the best they can be. Yeah. That's yeah. the important thing. Every one of them wanted to be the very best they could be. Well, so it was a joy. Made our day. It's happy a pleasure birthday. to see you Thank here. You Thank you very much. Thank you so much.